Hey everyone, it's Nick here at Higher Precision, and today we're going to be doing a video demo on the SPI Classic 3-point home mics. With me today I have part number 10-734-2. This is the SPI home mic that covers a range of 1.4 to 1.6 inches. Graduations on this gauge is 2 tenths, accuracy plus or minus 1 tenth, and can get you down to a measuring depth of 3.15 inches. However, extensions are available if you need to get down to a deeper depth. The classic SPI hole mics are used for high accurate bore measurements and once set to a setting ring, you're all set to go out and start measuring. So what we're looking at here is an individual range SPI hole mic. SPI offers the individual ranges. However, the individual ranges are not supplied with setting rings and they do have to be purchased in addition. On top of the individual ranges, SPI also offers large capacity sets, which covers a little bit larger range. It includes multiple hole mics, multiple setting rings, and an extension in the case there as well. Just make a note that once setting rings hit 7 inches, SPI actually supplies setting frames, because once you hit the 7 inch mark with rings, they start to get very expensive, very heavy, and very costly to ship around. So let's take a look at some of the features on the hole mic. They do have carbide tipped anvils, so they're not going to wear out as quickly as if they were non-carbide here. It is a self-centering and self-aligning bore gauge. So once you actually put this in the ring or in your part to start measuring there, the gauge is going to self-center and self-align on its own, so the operator doesn't have a lot of influence with that. And it also has a ratchet stop up here at the top. Now the key is setting a precedent with all the users on the ratchet stop, so we're all very consistent and we all get the same readings each time. Whether it's three clicks, four clicks, or five clicks, we just have to make sure that all the users of this gauge are gonna achieve the same number of clicks on the ratchet to make sure that we're all getting the same exact readings. So that wraps up the features on the whole mic. Let's take a little bit more of a closer look on how to set this gauge in a ring. Now that we have a detailed view on the SPI hull mic, let's check out how easy this gauge is to set in the ring. As previously mentioned, the range on this gauge goes from 1.4 to 1.6 inches. And you'll see down here on the sleeve, you have a 1.4 inch mark, a 1.45, a 1.5, a 1.55, and the 1.6 inch mark. Now taking a look up here in the thimble, you'll see it counts from 0 all the way around to 25. Now within that, taking a look at the 0 to 1 inch range, you'll see 5 subdivisions. Each of those subdivisions is the 2 tenths. So from 0 to 1 up here is 5 increments of 2 tenths equals 1 thou. So for every time there's a full rotation on this, it actually um, counts up 0.025 or 25 thou. And it has a total of 8 revolutions to get you the whole travel of 0.2. So let's check out how this gauge is to set. All I'm going to do, the gauge is in the ring. I have a 1.6 inch ring. And I'm just going to continue to turn the thimble until the ratchet kicks in. And I'm going to do 3 clicks. 1, 2, 3. Now what I'm going to do is actually come over here to see where the zero is pointing down. It should be pointing down to that line. If it is off quite a bit, what we can actually do is adjust the whole mic. And that's very easy as well. So I'm going to rotate the tool just a little bit here so you can see this set screw on the sleeve. And also included with the whole mic, you get this beautiful top quality screwdriver as well. Now to adjust it, if it does need to be done, you can actually back off on that set screw. You can rotate the sleeve just a little bit so that line is pointing to the zero, and then you can tighten that set screw again. From there, your gauge is calibrated and ready for use. That wraps up our video demo today on the classic three-point SPI hole mics. I hope you enjoyed the video demo. If you have any other specific questions you would like to ask, you can feel free to reach out to us at higherprecision.com. And until next time, we'll see you again.